At the United Nations highest court, Israel stands accused of carrying out genocide in Gaza. South Africa has filed a 84-page document with the International Court of Justice in The Hague. It claims Israel has killed more than 17,000 Palestinians from October until December last year. Just on December 7th, approximately one Palestinian was killed in Gaza every four minutes. Entire families have been wiped out with no remaining survivors. At the heart of South Africa's legal argument is the mass expulsion of Palestinians. 85% of the population has been forced to leave their homes. 60% of the homes in Gaza are now destroyed. And civilians following the evacuation orders were targeted by Israeli forces on designated safety routes. The case also highlights the dire humanitarian crisis in the Strip. Experts are predicting that more Palestinians in Gaza may die from starvation and disease than airstrikes. The submission also includes inflammatory statements made by Israeli leaders. The Israeli president said it's an entire nation out there that is responsible. It's not true that rhetoric about civilians not aware, not involved. It's absolutely not true. The Israeli Minister of Energy and Infrastructure tweeted, All the civilian population in Gaza is ordered to leave immediately. We will win. They will not receive a drop of water or a single battery until they leave the world. The deputy speaker of the Knesset tweeted, We all have one common goal, erasing the Gaza Strip from the face of the earth. The former head of the Israeli National Security Council said the state of Israel has no choice but to make Gaza a place that is temporarily or permanently impossible to live in. The U.S. must ultimately back even an operation like this, even if there are thousands of bodies of civilians in the streets afterward. And Gaza will become a place where no human being can exist. There are also examples of the destruction of Palestinian identity. South Africa's legal team is led by former UN envoy John Dugard. It compares Israel's actions in Gaza to crimes carried out in South Africa during the apartheid era. But proving genocidal intent is legally complicated. Israel's defense team is represented by the former head of the Israeli Supreme Court, Aaron Barak. He's denied all accusations and argues Israel's actions have been made in self-defense. In response to Hamas's attack on southern Israel on October 7th last year, that killed 1,200 Israelis. Please be seated. The case will be decided by a 15-member panel. Decisions are based on a majority vote, with a leading judge holding the decisive vote in case of a tie. Despite calls for a swift hearing, the case has already been delayed by a week. A final ruling on the genocide allegations could take months or years. But legal experts say a decision by the court on whether to announce immediate measures might come soon. And South Africa hopes it will call on Israel to stop its war on Gaza. Axel Zaimovic, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.